Hi, Jai Young here. I just read The Bet by Anton Chekhov. And wow, what a great use of flat and complex characters. Chekhov made interesting decisions about characterization and narration too. Here, I'll show you what I mean. The narrator can tell the story from many different perspectives. An omniscient narrator knows the thoughts, feelings, motivations, and actions of all characters at all times. Most narrators are not omniscient. Withholding information can help the author tell a good story, so authors like Chekhov often choose a limited narrator instead. In the bet, the narrator's perspective is limited to the banker. That means we follow the banker's thoughts, feelings, and motivations throughout the story. We see other characters through his lens. The reader's knowledge of the other major character, the lawyer, is mostly limited to how the banker perceives events. At the beginning of the story, the banker sees the young lawyer as a means for winning a bet. He assumes that the lawyer is greedy and materialistic like himself. He also assumes that the lawyer will be unable to endure isolation for 15 years and will lose the bet. After the lawyer accepts the bet and is imprisoned in the lodge, the reader does not hear the lawyer's perspective on his years in isolation until the contents of his letter are revealed. The banker gains understanding of what has happened to the lawyer only when he reads the lawyer's letter. The reader can only guess how the lawyer has changed during this time. The banker's limited awareness adds suspense by withholding information. The reader wants to know what has happened to the lawyer and who will win the bet. The use of a limited narrator prevents the reader from guessing the twist ending. Chekhov's use of a limited perspective also affects characterization in the bet. Most narratives have more than one character. Some have dozens. But this story focuses on two characters. Most narratives also have complex characters and flat characters. Who is flat and who is complex in the bet? Flat characters often serve a single purpose, represent a single idea, and contrast with more complex characters. Complex characters are complicated figures with conflicting emotions. They change their minds, grow from experiences, and behave like real people. Although he is a central character and may appear complex because he ages, observes the lawyer, and loses money, the banker is not complex. Why? Because over the course of 15 years, he cares only about the same things and does not appear to grow as a person. The lawyer character, however, does grow as a person. Finding himself very different after 15 years, he does not desire the same things he did when he initially made the bet. The lawyer's decision to forego his spoils is an example of his evolving mind and his growth as a complex character. <laughs> the lawyer's growth stands out more because it contrasts with the banker's unchanging desires. Chekhov made two major choices about the narrator and characters that had great impact on his story. First, he chose to limit the narrator to the banker's perspective. Second, he chose to make the lawyer complex and the banker flat. By limiting the perspective to the banker, the lawyer's evolution stands out and surprises both the banker and the reader. The banker is happy to win his bet, but he wins only because of the lawyer's growth and changed outlook on life. Thus, the lawyer's position about life imprisonment was also proved correct. In the end, the lawyer's evolution shows that life in solitary confinement may have resulted in the death of his old self, but it also leads the lawyer to a new life and the chance for spiritual renewal. What story has left an impression on you? You should check out the way your favorite author handles narration and character complexity to see what you can learn.